All right, and we back with another episode of Hey, I'm Just Asking. And today, we want to talk about Is Shakur Stevenson the snooze fest king? Now, this fight puts the stamp on Shakur Stevenson as being one of boxing's most boring fighters. He fought a robotic defensive opponent with no punching power. A sitting duck with no accuracy. Hey, he was shooting blanks at best all night last night. So why didn't Shakur Stevenson knock this guy out is the real question. Shakur Stevenson doesn't punch with bad intentions. He punches because he can. And that's the problem. Even though he's not known for the heavy hand, his skill set says he should at least get some TKOs or knockouts from his high punch count, right? Wrong. His boxing IQ is grade A, but his aggression level in that ring is a 50 cent coffee two days ago week. Like, I don't get it. You know you on TV, right? Everybody's watching. Back-to-back -back stinkers means no pay-per-view for you ever. Unless you fight better competition, man, you're going to be mid-tier. The tomato can champion at 135. Tank Davis probably won't even fight you now. Because your belt is your only bargaining chip. Let's be real. You're the seaside champ. Now, I'm not saying that you haven't made a name for yourself, but at this point, is it safe to say that you're living off your name and not your performances? I'm going to say yes. All of that barking on social media hasn't translated in the ring. They falling asleep and leaving the fight early because you the snooze fest king. Hey, it's time to show the fans What's all the hype about? Because I'm starting to feel gypped on what was advertised. Shakur Stevenson was supposed to be next up. Man, it's looking like next down. So what's next for him? He needs a dangerous opponent ASAP. I'm talking Devin Haney at 140. That makes the best sense in my opinion. Set that up because it's a great look for boxing like all questions answered on who's number two after Javante Tank Davis. Shakur Stevenson can't afford another underwhelming performance or his curtains. Can the snooze fest king bring some new energy into that boxing ring? He gonna have to. His next move has to be his best move or he'll have to move around because he's in the way. Man, like this video, share this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hey, I'm just asking.